Howdy howdy, this is Crafty Grinding here with my latest arena cutoff video for Marvel Contest of Champions. So we're going to pick up with the round two predictions, but before we get to that, we're going to get to the round one results for the Green Goblin and Wolverine X-23 arenas. So, um, top line for this is surprise, surprise, a lot of surprises with this one. First of all, we've got a new all-time high for a four-star feature arena with the Green Goblin cutoff coming in at 17.2 million. That is higher than the Spider-Man Stark Enhanced. I was, I'm quite surprised by that. I'm surprised. I guess at the end, Green Goblin does beat Spider-Man. But anyway, um, as for a um, X-23, she actually is kind of defining new territory in between that mid-tier and high interest. I was thinking she would tend to the high interest. Some in the community were thinking mid-interest. And uh, kind of, turns out she's right in the middle. There's never been somebody in the 3.63, so it's kind of... Uh, going to change the clusters if you will at least you know one instance is just maybe an outlier and we'll never see it again but anyway for the uh basic arena we have a new type of uh first round um result and then for green goblin we also have a new um all-time high for the three star feature <laughs> arena so the green goblin for sure there was must have been a ton of excitement in there as the round one results um indicate and when we have a lot of this um a lot of this high interest a lot of outliers a lot of first time happenings when you do trend analysis, unfortunately, predictions don't pan out. And uh, as we see from my round one predictions, that is the case. Um, good news, at least for the four-star basic, you were able to get um, to, if you, if you did grind out, you had to put some extra grinding time in, but you did at least get X-23. The same cannot be said, unfortunately, for the four-star basic, as um, the trends were holding, even if it was coming close to Spider-Man, um, 515.5 would have been where that cutoff was at. Well, you can see it. It went almost a 1 million point five over that to set that new time high. And then even I was expecting the three-star arena Green Goblin to, to get real close to push Spider-Man again for the cutoff champion, if you will. And uh, in this case, it went an extra 500,000 and went over that. So yeah, these were kind of unexpected anomaly results. And when that happens, when you do trend analysis and the trends kind of predict based off of what's expected and you have outstanding results, well, guess what happens? The predictions, they fail. The good news again, I mean, if we want to look on the bright side, the bright side, if you went to the grind target, you should have got Green Goblin. And again, you put an extra grinding time, but um, you went, um, you did get um, Wolverine X-23. Unfortunately, the same cannot be said for the four-star features. You can see um, that uh, that new 17 million really pushed the uh, area, uh, the arena cut off that much higher. So how do we kind of take all this in moving into um, round two? So when we look at the four-star feature new champs arena total results, um, there's been an interesting kind of trend happening, starting first with the Punisher 2099 and occurring again with Spider-Man and Vulture. So anytime we have a new four-star champion, now for Punisher and Vulture, those first round results were kind of low. So then we saw a spike up, a, a decent percentage spike up, over 10%. But what was interesting, even for Spider-Man, when at the time he set the high at 15.7 million, Million, he then for a first round result he then jumped and said at the time again a new all-time high at 17 million well we saw that the green goblin beat that at 17.2 but my point being with both the P punisher spider-man and vulture we've seen all of those three arenas go up previously in the past when we had high results we saw drops like if you looked at yondu yondu went from 14 million to 7 million carnage went from 15 million to 10 million so we kind of saw that but then these last three arenas and even the high spider-man we saw an increase specifically we saw a 10 percent plus on average increase for punisher spider-man and vulture and given all the hype that we saw for green goblin we'll likely see that again and when it comes to the four-star basic mid-interest, now, this was the interesting part, right? Before you can see, looking at Howard the Duck, Captain America, and Cable, we've seen this steady incline of what I was categorizing at the time as mid-interest champ. Well, guess what? Now, we're going to see that get pushed up even higher with X-23 first-round results. Now, Cable's second-round results were a little bit higher um, than the 3.6 million we saw. 
but I think what we can see now is a steady trend of what I'm labeling as that mid-interest cluster. So not those high numbers, 5 million, 6 million, but kind of in that mid-range um, um, four-star basic arena, we're seeing how the duck, Captain American cable. But what's definitely clear is in each of these instances, again, we're seeing a steady increase. And for the most part, for all of these um, four-star basic mid-interest champs, we've seen an increase. Well, we're talking, we're talking about a 15% average increase jump from round, round one to round two. And lastly, for the three-star feature new champ. Now, this is where we get some good news if you want to grind last story. If you if you held back from doing any grinding or any serious grinding just beyond the milestone rewards in round one, hoping to get one of these champions in round two, I've got good news for you in the three-star arena. Because if you're looking at the three-star arena, even for Spider-Man, even for Punisher and Vulture, where we saw their uh, four-star feature numbers go up, and the three-star, after round one, they all plummet. They all go down quite a bit. And quite honestly, looking all the way back through you know the last six or seven new champions in the three-star arena that's been pretty much the case only with carnage do we see a close hold from 1.429 to 1.412 but even with spider-man more recent present uh, re more re excuse me recent results we've seen those results jump and you could drop i should say so you can see with spider-man even went from 1.49 to 1.209 basically the last three we've been seeing about a drop around 15 percent so taking all of these trends in, in mind, what are my predictions for round two? So for round two, Green Goblin, you saw that there was a 10% increase. I think we're going to see over the last three. And if that should hold with Spider-Man, if you can compare the interest and excitement around Spider-Man to this Green Goblin, it's going to go from 17 million to 18 million. That's going to be that jump you're going to see. That's kind of the prediction. And then from a top 10%, that um, went up a little bit as well to 4.6 4 million. Now, the good news is if you're one of those folks that for the four-star feature arena like to go after that 11 to 30 percent tier, there's actually, if you look at the trends, there's a drop from round one to round two when this for the last three or four um, arenas, and that um, the 11 percent range was at right, right around 2 million for round one, so you can probably expect for that to go around to 1.8 million. And um, going to the four-star basic. Now, we saw that 10 to 15% increase for um, the last three or four mid-entry champs, including Cable, including Howard the Duck, um, including uh, Captain America, World War II. I think you're going to see that carry over. So the 3.6, you apply the, uh, the expected increase. It's going to be right around 4.1, 4.2 million. And then for the 11 to 25% tier, that's coming in right around 1.75 to 5 over the 1.65 that we saw. There's always that slight bump from round one to round two. Now here's the good news for less grinding fans out there. Um, for the three-star feature arena, we're not going to see that 1.5 this time. That should be, if you get that 10 to 15% drop, that should bring us right around 1.28 and the 11 to 25% tier, there's actually a tad bit of an increase um, between round, round one to round two, and we'll see that small increase here coming in at 670,000. Now, grind targets. Again, this is where the trends, if we just look at the last, you know, five or six, three or four kind of results, this is where the trends would show kind of what we could expect for round two cutoff results. However, if you want to make sure you get the champ, what you should be doing is going higher than what we expect the trends to go for. We saw what happened this time. Even going higher didn't help you from a four-star feature arena. So if you really want a Green Goblin, you're going to have to put in some grind time and go 19 million. I mean, again, he went 17 million this time around. The last three or four, including Spider-Man arenas, four-star feature arenas have jumped up. So if you really want them, you're going to have to put in that grind time to 19 million. For the top 10%, we're looking at 4.8 million. And um, for the 11 to 30% to, to tier, anywhere from 1.9 to 2 million should definitely get you that, um, that prize, if you will. And then for the four-star basic, um, X23, 4.5 should be fine. Even 4.4, you'll probably be good there too. Um, she only go a couple hundred thousand over four. You should be fine. And then for 11 to 25 percent tier, if you hit the 1.85, you should be fine. And then for the three star arena, if you want to make sure you get the Green Goblin this time, go to about 1.35 million. And for the 11 to 25 percent tier, go to 70,000. So anyway, those are my thoughts after the uh, unexpected, exceptional results that we got from round one. In terms of the arena cutoff, not such exceptional from the prediction, mind you, but what actually ha happened with the Green Goblin. He right now is holds the uh, the crown for the uh, 
the largest um, four-star feature or round one arena cutoff that we've had and actually any cutoff numbers it was even higher than the previous spider-man round two results so yeah I, you could probably expect to see a lot of uh, folks going after Green Goblin again who probably missed him, who thought they were going to get him. Probably the same case with the three-star feature, but you know what? A lot of people are focusing elsewhere there, so you should get by, get by with a little less grinding. And lastly, with the four-star basic arena, X-23, she's kind of playing like a high-end, low, high-end, mid, low-end, um, high interest, so the numbers here should hold. So anyway, those are my thoughts. Would love to hear your thoughts in the uh, comment section. And of course, if you have any questions, would happy would be happy to discuss them there. And and as always, if you like this video, would really appreciate a like. And um, if you like this video and others that I have in the channel, would really appreciate a subscribe. Other than that, thanks a lot for stopping by, and have a great day.